Students are gearing up for the first day of school now just less than a month away, and Baltimore County libraries are looking to lend a hand to students in need. Erica Palmasano with the Baltimore County Public Library joins us this morning from the branch in Rosedale. And good morning, Erica. You have a lot going on. We always talk to you, and you make reading and libraries sound so exciting. I do the best I can. It is exciting. <laughs> Anytime you can open a book is, is a great time. So. We are here at the Rosedale branch, and I'm talking about our um, school supply drive. We're working with the Education Foundation for Baltimore County Public Schools once again on their collection of school supplies. Uh, all of our 19 branches are collection areas. You can come in and drop off supplies, whether it's simply a pack of post-it notes or a whole backpack full of supplies, and we are here to collect for the foundation. Erica, are there any specific items you would like people to bring in that you need more of? Uh, pens, pencils, composition books, as I said, post-it notes, markers, just things that kids use, glue sticks, please glue sticks, things that kids need every day that teachers go through. Really, this is, these supplies are going to go to the teachers who will then share with their students in need at the beginning of the year. So just things that, that kids can really run through quickly. And please, I say it and you would think you wouldn't have to say it, but please make sure they're new and unused. We've had a few um, used and dull pencils dropped in. So we'd really appreciate it if it was new and unused. <laughs> now, do you need anything? And I'm sure the students would too. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Do you need anything quite as um, as bulky as a backpack itself? I mean, you know, the students, of course, carry Absolutely. the backpacks. Absolutely. Anything that is donated, you know, such as a backpack, even a lunchbox. And that's okay. not on the list. But there are so many students who come to school w without those items, and to be able to share them with these kids and make them not stand out. Um, in, a, in a negative way or make them feel badly is, is, is a win. All right, Erica, and you guys are still collecting, I guess, all the way up until the first day of school? Actually, until August 17th, next Friday, we have collection bins in all of our 19 branches. And then on Saturday, the 18th, we'll be at the Cockeysville branch with a, um, a stuff a truck event from 12 to do from 12 to 2 with Greg Carpenter from today's 101.9. So it'll be a fun closing to our collection of the school supplies. And then we'll get them on over to the teachers. All right. So we'll check back with you in about 20 minutes. We'll talk a little bit more about this. And here you're taking us to Storyville. Ooh. Absolutely. Storyville at the Rosedale branch. All right. Beautiful. Can't I'm wait. I'm excited for everybody to see it. Well, thank okay. you, Erica Palmasano. Thank you for joining us. We'll talk check back, and we'll talk with you in about 20 minutes. Thank you.